This video is by Straight Goods News, sgnews.ca. I hardly believe that we have a minister of the crown out there saying these things. This is completely disrespectful uh, to our American friends. I mean, uh, Minister Oliver is out there and first he takes on a, a NASA scientist and, and now former vice president of the United States. It's, it's very, very disrespectful. I think, though, um, you know, some of this is the conservative actions coming home to roost. Uh, if you look at the fact that the international community is pointing their fingers at us for our lack of action on climate, well, yeah, of course. I mean, this is something the NDP has been saying for a couple of years now, that inaction on climate is actually going to hurt our international relations. It will affect our trading relationships. It will affect our economy. Uh, so I'm, I'm not surprised, unfortunately, to see that the international community more, oh, sorry, <laughs> more and more frequently the international community is coming out and, and taking us to task. Um, so I think those criticisms are legitimate. The response from the Canadian government to, to uh, you know, call Al Gore names is preposterous and, and embarrassing, frankly. And this is supposed to be, a, you know, a tour where we're selling Canada, selling our oil. Do you think this is going to be an effective this, communication strategy? I, I mean, I, I have actually questioned before the, the um, thought that went behind sending Minister Oliver out to sell our wares, uh, because he doesn't, he's not exactly skilled in diplomacy. Um, if they actually want to, to be able to pitch Canada or sell Canada and our resources, they really should look at getting a new guy out there, because I, I have the feeling he's destroying every relationship that we've worked so hard to build. For example, that quote, um, Minister Oliver actually doesn't understand uh, Mr. Mr. Moore. Um, Al Gore was talking about greenhouse gases being released into the atmosphere like a sewer and Oliver twists it around to say he's saying that the tar sands are, sorry he always says oil sands, he's, a, he's saying that the oil sands is like an open sewer. I mean Oliver himself is caught up in this hyperbole that he, he so decries. I mean sit down and look at what it is that he the negotiations that are going on right now about the new uh, the, the clean fuel standards in Europe and mm. the suggestion is that they're hypocritical, they're biased, they're unscientific because they don't send her out Venezuela, California crew, which have a very, very yeah. large environmental impact. The only one they're targeting is Canadian oil sands consumers. That's not, that's not the truth and I think that again is this government picking up on their own hyperbole. If you look at what the fuel quality directive does, it puts a label on different fuels according to their greenhouse gas intensity. So oil sands product is there on the list. It doesn't say Canada. It says oil sands. And you know what? There's even a provision in this in these regulations to say, look, uh, if you as a country or if you as a as a producer don't agree with the value we've assigned to this this product, refute it. Bring us the science. Show us how we're wrong. So that is a perfectly reasonable way to set regulations around greenhouse gas emissions, but we're not reacting in a reasonable way. We, we have other sources of energy. We have uh, we do have gas. We do have some uh, offshore oil still happening. Uh, as as we progress through time, we will start tapping into less or more and more unconventional um, uh, energy sources, and that's that's just the reality. So we need to start looking at the transition to the green economy. Right? It's going to happen. So let's start working.